Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Today we're going to take a look at the Lightroom dashboard. The Lightroom dashboard is an analytics dashboard for Lightroom. The Lightroom Dashboard is a free website that will analyze your Lightroom catalog and give you an idea of what camera you use the most, what lens you use the most, uh, what lens you use the least, what aperture you most often shoot at, what ISO, what shutter speed, and so on. It's a really neat little tool that is just kind of fun to use, but beyond that, it can give you some insight about your shooting habits. Maybe you most often shoot at f8, like 90% of your shots are at f8. And maybe you could sh uh, you know, change it up a little bit and get some different types of looks uh, to your photography, things like that. Now, as far as its use, I mentioned that it's a free website. It doesn't upload or take your Lightroom catalog and put it on their website. It works from within your browser so it keeps your Lightroom catalog on your computer and it uses the memory on your computer to analyze the catalog and then it will spit out all that data that I mentioned. Now there is um, you know some limitation here in that if your catalog is bigger than one gigabyte it probably will run out of browser memory and you'll get a memory error but they do have a large catalog converter tool you can see down here. And if I click on more information, you can see that it explains that if your catalog is too big, it will fill up your browser memory and you'll get that error. Well, you could download this large catalog converter tool for Windows or Mac and then use that to convert your catalog to uh, something smaller that your browser can handle. Once you do that. Now again, you don't have to do that unless your catalog is bigger than one gigabyte. But what you need to do is take the catalog and put a copy of it in a folder, which I did here. You can see my Lightroom catalog. And this is a copy. I have the original catalog in its Lightroom folder and it's not being touched. Um, also, as you look at it, it's 1.29 gigabytes. So mine is bigger than a gigabyte. So I have this Lightroom dashboard dashboard converter app here to convert my catalog and I'm going to run it right now. So simply to use this, you just put it in the same folder or same directory as your Lightroom catalog and then just run it. And when you do, it will convert your catalog and you'll get this Lightroom dashboard.db file. And it's completed. It's right here. This is the file now that I will use instead of the LRCAT file. So if your catalog is less than one gigabyte, don't do this. Just use your .LRCAT file. In my case, I need to use this .DB file. And to do it, we're going to click on Analyze Catalog now. It's saying to drop it here, so we'll bring this a little smaller. I'll take my Lightroom dashboard.db and drop it right there. I'll maximize out here. Now it's analyzing the database. And it doesn't uh, take too long because I did try this before I did the video. And once it does, it will give me two years of data um, by default. And I could change this. And at the bottom, you could see there's a camera summary. My most often used camera over the past two years was my Sony a7R4. I've used a total of 26 cameras, but that's actually not true. Uh, the database is correct, but I have stock photos in my Lightroom catalog. So, you know, when I do these um, thumbnails for my videos, I often have a stock photo in there, or sometimes for my videos, I'll use a stock photo. So I put stock photos I download from Adobe Stock in my Lightroom catalog. So that is throwing off the, for me at least, the total cameras I use and the total lenses I use because it's incorporating those um, cameras and lenses in the count. My favorite ISO is ISO 100. The camera I, or the lens I most often used was the 24 to 70 uh, Sigma f2.8 art lens and that is for that Sony. 
Um, my favorite aperture was f8, which I I knew that anyway. Uh, file summary: I have uh, 10,111 files. My favorite file format is RAW, and that's my favorite resolution: 8256 by 5504, and I probably is the resolution of a Sony A7R4. Now, again, this is for the last two years. I could even drill this down further. I could go up to 12 years in my catalog or down to a single year. If I do a single year and click update, um, it takes a second, I found, to do this, but then it will give me my past year. And you'll notice that the A7R4 is not my most used camera anymore. The Nikon Z7 II has been my most used camera over the past year. And again, it's showing a total of 12 cameras and my favorite ISO 64, of course, the A7 or the Z7 II goes down to ISO 64. My most often used lens for this is the Nikon Z 24 to 7 f2.8. So you know I like 24 to 70 lenses. Um, 16 lenses, again, that's off. F8, there's files, we're on, that's the resolution there. Now you could go further like lenses. I'll click here and it gives you a total of 16 different lenses. My most favorite used over the past year has been that lens. Um, my aperture range, I have some shot at f2, a lot more at f2.8 maybe. But you can see f8 is by far um, the aperture I use the most. Perhaps if I feel like I'm in a rut and I'm not really, you know, all my images kind of look the same, maybe this could give me some insight. Well, maybe I should try shooting wider and see maybe if that will give me a different look. Something like that. Uh, focal length, um, you know, I'm most often at 24 millimeters, sometimes at 200 millimeters. And you can see I do have a 24 to 200 uh, Z lens as well. So that's why the, these longer focal lengths are in here. So. I usually like to shoot tight, so that's why you see uh, these longer focal lengths are often used, and often like to shoot wider, and that's why there's a wider focal length there. So not as much in the middle. Maybe I could uh, shift that up a little bit. Uh, cameras, now again, this isn't going to be uh, totally accurate. Um, this is ISO usage here, uh, down at the bottom, and you can see ISO 64 is my most often um, used ISO. There's some at uh, 51,200. Is that? Yeah, got my microphone in my way. And so on. So files. You get some, you know, just some info here. Um, pie charts. You could hover over here. Uh, but in camera usage, uh, you could see the Z9, which I recently got. I've been using that more often. So if I was to do this 12 months from now, I guarantee the Nikon Z9 would be my number one camera used. Um, that's the A7R4. That's uh, the ZFC, which is mine. That is the iPhone 12, which I use. I never got the iPhone 13. I usually go every two years on my phones. D500, which is mine. Uh, Z6, which is mine. Z6 II, which is mine. Z7 II, which is mine. So actually, all of these are my cameras. So maybe I did use 12 cameras. Uh, so, so uh, yeah, I do own a lot of different cameras, um, but I'm probably going to be selling uh, the Sony and the uh, Nikon D500 uh, soon. But other than that, um, you get, you know, it, it's just for me, it's kind of just a fun tool to mess around with. But and, and I would bet for most of you, it's probably the same thing. But maybe for some of you, you could get some ideas here of. Um, how you shoot that you didn't realize you were doing and maybe it will help you um, break out of a rut or try to do something different or diversify or something like that. So in the description below this video, I'll have a link to the website. It's not sponsored video, by the way. I just stumbled across this website. Somebody's newsletter, I, I actually, I should give them, I'm going to give them credit in the description below this video. I actually received another photographer's newsletter and they talked about this website. So in the description below this video, I'll have the person's uh, whose newsletter I got talking about this listed there so that um, if you want to check him out, um, you can. And that's it. That's the Lightroom dashboard. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>